Welcome to 9990 Northeast Smith Rock Loop in Terrebonne, Oregon. This home is 1,815 square feet, two beds, two bath, with an awesome great room layout, a huge primary suite, beautiful views of Burma and Smith Rock Monument. You've got these beautiful treed areas, mature landscaping, and a view that's second to none. The RV parking over here there used to be a big fifth wheel RV. Has a 50 amp hookup on the side. So if you have an EV, an RV, your big power connection is already in place with more room to be, have things added. Just a really great property. Beautiful setting, nice trees around, circular drive. One acre of COID irrigation. And then you have that awesome covered front porch. Nice landscaping. And a beautifully repainted home set in one of the greatest locations in all of Central Oregon. Now standing inside the front door, greeted by what's currently being used as the TV area. It's a flex space. And also worthy of note is all the new luxury vinyl plank throughout. The built-in cabinetry. And this awesome kitchen. Recently remodeled with quartz countertops new stainless appliances, and the way that takes in the view is unprecedented. Right from your kitchen sink. And then right from the living room when you have a seat. That's your view. So from this location, pretty awesome to sit down and have a view both directions. Now this home has been oriented different in the past. This area is really well utilized as a great room. Where that monitor is right there, think of having an 85 inch TV. And then where the table is now, you can have your chairs. And there's still room to have a dining room table back where this hutch is. But generally when that configuration is used, you'd have the dining room table over where those chairs are. And still have room here for like a desk, or another sitting area. Right now it's being utilized as kind of a workshop for uh, sewing. But as you can see, it's really a nice illustration of if you have a little desk there, just looking straight out at Smith Rock. There's a breakfast bar off the end here. The home has ductless heat pumps throughout. Most efficient way you can possibly heat and cool a home. And then this greenhouse off the end is really cool. You can grow things all year round, have a little citrus plant. And you can access it from the outside. It's easiest access is from the house though.
So if someone were to use this home as an STR, there's no restrictions, and it really has a setup that's perfect for that. You can fit a king-size bed, two end tables. You've got this really great walk-in and office, the walk-in closet. This was a little addition that's about 6 by 14.5, and it has a little office, kind of studio, and that walk-in closet. And then the primary bath. That's tile floor. It has radiant floor heating. Really cool solid surface counter there. And this shower is just super neat. You have your trays for keeping all of your soap and shower wares. And that really cool step, seating area, flooring in there, that they, the tile they chose for that, the mosaics, really cool. Nice wand. Just couldn't have picked a better selection of tiles and style for this home. And it would be, it's just so cool to have that slider. So you can take in that view and if you wanted, have a hot tub or just come out and enjoy the view from your table and chairs, fire pit. The guest bedroom is smaller, but it fits a king-size bed. And a king-size bed is tight, but you can get around on all the sides of this. And it's nice to have a king-size when friends come over. I don't think they're going to be throwing any big parties in their room, but they would like to have a good-sized bed, so that's real nice. And the view is amazing. And the guest bath is really awesome. It has the same tile floor, solid surface counter. And a really cool tiled shower. And while you're in the shower, look out and see Burma. This has the same radiant heat control. So nice warm feet when you're in the guest bath too. Nice utility room, same flooring, utility sink, and a closet that's used as a pantry. Really helps with the storage. So just an awesome floor plan, takes in the view perfectly, both directions, which you need to have that when you're in this spot where on each side of the home, the view is equally breathtaking. Something that cannot be overstated is how great these appliances are. Bosch is the only way, if you ask me. If you want something that's going to last forever, work right. And this is an induction range top. There's induction and there's everything else. Propane, normal glass tops, they pale in comparison. That is the best range and cooktop that you can have. Really an awesome setup in this kitchen and then another thing worthy of note is that beautiful Bosch dishwasher. For those that know, that is really a great feature. And for those that don't look into the reviews by people 
that do reviewing of kitchen appliances, and you'll see that's at the top of the list, and the user experience with induction, having all the immediacy and precision of propane even better, actually, and not having to worry about a fire or the cleanup. It's really a great thing to have. Now in the fenced backyard area, you can see there's very cool natural landscaping here. That's a sagebrush integrated. The greenhouse that you can access from inside the home. Paver patio here. Everything outside's been repainted. The decks in the home, all the paint in perfect condition. Yard's in good shape with a sprinkler system. You can see that slider into the primary bedroom right off this back deck. And then this really cool fenced in garden area with drip system. You can put plants in there that bear fruit or just have some pretty flowers. It's all set up to be really pretty seamless back there. And you can just hear the river. I was here a few months back when the water was really at flood stage. It was actually only about a month back and you could hear it in the backyard really loud. Most of the time it's just a dull roar. The fenced garden area with drip system and pavers, covered seating area. This all stays with the house. There's a little bar back here. And they incorporated that sage with the drip system and beds. Just a really cool area to have as much greenery or as little as you want. You can see there's a place to connect the hose there. And you, there's drip line through a lot of this. And there's some improvements to be made, but the infrastructure is in place. to put all the drip system back to work. All the beds are there, all the hose connection points. Just add a little more black flex tube if you like. Out here at the rim, nice little picnic bench and this amazing view. And the river is right below us. The previous owners had put in some really nice climbing anchors along the rim here. So I'm gonna walk out to the edge and give you an idea. It's not just the easiest walk on the planet um, because there's a crack here, but it's a pretty narrow crack that you can jump right over in multiple places. And there's the Crooked River. And again, like I said, the previous owners, you'd have to walk around here and find them. Uh, I don't remember exactly where they are, but there are anchor bolts. Oh, here's one right there. Yeah. And if you explore, there's a few more around too. 
Actually, I see one over there. On the edge. But yeah, this is a really cool spot to come over and hang out. Take in the view. Just another thing worth mentioning, if you have an electric vehicle, that is a 50 amp connection. So you can charge your electric vehicle there easily. Around back, just good storage stu stuff back here that's out of the way, you don't see it. But it's awfully nice to have. Keep quads back here, tractors, anything else like that. So. And then we'll walk over to the pond. Oh, there's the quail. So this is the irrigation pond they used to water from. And that's most of the property. The flag lot entrance is the driveway back here. You'll see that on the maps. But most of the property is back straight down to the right here and then back behind the home and the cedar fence kind of encapsulates the back edges there. And the garage is mostly insulated. This is a workshop space in the back. Just a good space, fit large vehicles and have a workshop space in the back and you can keep it warm if you like. 